For the bad accident that critically injured a Miami-Dade police officer and his canine and also shut down a busy stretch of the turnpike, that canine was rushed to an animal hospital. And his handler was airlifted to Jackson Memorial, and that's where we find local 10's Terrell Fournay, where fellow officers gathered throughout the night. Terrell. Quite the scare for the law enforcement community, as you can imagine, when they received word of this very serious crash. Tonight, that veteran officer who fell victim in all of this is recovering here in critical but stable condition. A canine narcotics team was on duty and inside of this unmarked Miami-Dade police vehicle when it somehow collided with the truck that doubles as an all-terrain crane, causing that SUV to roll over. It happened Wednesday afternoon on the turnpike near Southwest 211th Street, sending debris scattering across the northbound lanes, including one of the vehicle's tires. The highway was shut down. The officer airlifted to the Ryder Trauma Center at Jackson, where the department's director met with medical crews. When you get that call, your heart stops. You worry. It's, like it's a family member. It's like your own family and you worry right away for his condition. In the minutes and hours that followed, fellow cops raced to the hospital and crowded the emergency room in a strong show of support. Some of the officers were visibly emotional as they waited on the latest word from doctors. We've learned the officer is a 17-year veteran of the force who was on duty on a routine patrol with this canine at the time of the crash. He's a uh, critical but stable condition right now. He's resting with his family and his law enforcement family. And, uh, you know, we're just very thankful right now. The other driver was not injured, but the collision forced this portion of the turnpike to be shut down for several hours. As for the canine partner named Fox, it was taken to a nearby vet's office to be checked out. We're told the canine suffered minor injuries in that rollover crash. And so far, the victim uh, who fell victim to all of this, that officer, his identity has not yet been released. And we're still waiting to find out exactly who was at fault behind this crash. Reporting live from Miami, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.